more sets at least, three more sets at most. Yep. And that means that it's time to spirit bomb the Saturday Melee Finals. Please, we ask you to head on over to Twitter, head on over to Facebook, yes. message your friends, and let them know to open up a web browser and go to twitch.tv slash EVO, EVO. Because we want as many people as possible to tune in and to watch these three, uh, some of the some of the champions of Melee, you know, the best players in the world, compete for the biggest trophy in our scene, the EVO championship title. That's right. A title, I think, that is spoken of by the top players as having a little bit more prestige. Absolutely. Than, you know? Absolutely. Mango has been threatening the Threevo for two years now, right. three years now. Yep. Armada, uh, Armada, who looks to be just kind of at the top of the metagame right now, looks to be just one step ahead of all, all of his, his peers. And the man who will never stop getting in their way, yeah. Hungrybox. Just, you know, like a... And you know what? I have to apologize. That's a dark, not... A dark yes. Team Liquid logo horse. I have to apologize to Hungrybox because that's not who he is now. For many, many years, and I need to right. learn that. We yeah. need to catch up. Hungrybox was the man who got in the way for, for these players, and but he wasn't quite the guy to finish it out and take home the title himself. That's right. But you know That's what? Right. In 2017 and 2016, we were seeing a new Hungrybox. Oh, yeah. Where if and you yes, look, these, if are the, you, these are the three best players. For sure. They're, they're on more or less equal footing with Armada. Definitely, you know, <laughs> Armada's on higher footing. But for sure. For sure. These are the three who should be here. Mango ranked third as well. Yeah. Yeah. So one, you two, know. three is our Mono Hungry Box Mango. Here we go. All Game right. one. Game one going back to Battlefield. Uh, Mango not Mango not doing the uh, the strike to found a dreams thing that, that Mute King did. So Mango, I if he watched that set, I think, you know, hopefully he knows what to expect. And I think when you're playing against a, a person that's very dedicated to the the, the ledge cam style, you know what's really important is maintaining a lead. You want to take the first stock and you don't want to give them the opportunity to play for, you know, essentially for the timeout if it drags on long enough. And Mango doing a great job so far with a basically untouched first stock. Yeah, looking very different than uh, Mewtwo King's style with, uh, with Fox. Right. They, oh. they, they can't camp you if they're not ahead, ultimately, right? Right. You can't rely on that style. Mango's going to run away in laser. I mean, is he actually going to do that? I'm not sure, but that's what he should do. And, that, and if he plays the same sort of, you know, middle ground, aggressive, some laser camp style, I think he's... These plays, but Hungrybox tying up, uh, tying about three stocks apiece. Mango playing the, the the platforms a lot, doing a lot of like aerials off the platforms. Right, I think is looking for a roll. Hungrybox because he does play Jigglypuff, who is a character that doesn't really have the greatest out of shield options. Uh, Hungrybox is forced to roll more than a lot of other top players. Wow, what a up smash! When you're getting those raw up smashes like that, when I say raw, I mean you're not comboing into the move. You're you're using it, and they are in. Uh, you know, they're in a state where they're able to move, they're able to act. A lot of the time, that's you doing a little bit of a calculation on like, okay, is the Puff likely to jump here? Are they likely to... And wow, Mango. That I'll is throw that up air. hurts if you're Hungry Bucks. Yeah, yeah, off of a miss, a missed rest off of a jab reset. I have not seen that. That's like 1% too low. 1% oh too God. low for the K off the top. Hiya! All right, so Mango now. Uh, he's gotten a lot of really clutch up smash KOs on uh, on Hungry Box here. Is he gonna do that? I know, man. You know, did you see it right there? I thought I he was did. gonna do that. He's back messing there. around off of stage like he did versus. Uh, well, versus. Did he winners. do it versus Armada and die, or did he do it versus Hungry Box? I'm actually, I'm getting a confused. Well, I was because thinking he was gonna, gonna do and exactly. Die. I was thinking he was gonna do the backer that panned out, the one where he went off stage. But it oh worked. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I wonder if uh, wonder if we're gonna see more of that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wow, hungry box. Yeah, despite everything, you know, Mango had a pretty big lead, but all of a sudden it's basically tied. Uh, Mango just taking that stock. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is a mu much more of a fight than the Mute King set. Yeah, right? the man. Mute King, the Mute King set felt like a tactic versus another tactic. Exactly. Mute, Mute King, it seemed to me, was just like letting hungry box stay in his shield and le basically letting our hungry box do what he wanted. Oh my god. He was yeah. He didn't really have a will of his own. He wasn't like trying to get stuff to happen. Whereas Mango really mixing it up and you know keeping hungry box honest. Yeah. Hungry box will just take out the trash if you let him. Yeah, actually, that's really important with with Mute King. I think is that a lot of these other foxes that are at the top play, uh, top level of play, Armada, Leffen. Now even Mango looking at this, they actually have 
They actually really punish Hungry Box for ledge camping. I think we didn't see oh! any of that. Oh, up throw up there and he gets it! That the all kill. started with a roll from Hungry Box that Mango was just ready for. You know, like like I said, UG King just really let Hungry Box stay in shield and like kind of do what he wanted, but you know, Hungry Box just rolled one time, he got back air by Mango, he was off solid footing, and it just turned into a KO. Here we go on Dreamland. Again, three out of five. Mango up one game to zero. Yep. No bans. And uh, this is the best stage that Hungrybox is really going to get in this matchup, which is debatably even. Um, right, debatably even. So in the counterpick war, you know, Mango definitely uh, has a character and stage advantage. Great! See, Mango oh. hits that tech where a lot, of, a lot of other foxes wouldn't, but... But guess what? It did it's not matter at all. all. Yeah, no, Hungrybox just... That's the level of play he's bringing to the table now, where even when he doesn't get lit... It used to be... It used to be like, you know, everyone, oh my god, Jigglypuff's such a cheesy character, right? And now Hungrybox is saying, look, even when my cheese doesn't work, I'm so good that I have so much technology on top of that to where it does not matter. I can exactly. just combo you with my skill. Wow, the jet, the, the drill reset on Jigglypuff. That's super... So basically, uh, Hungry Boss got hit and landed on the platform, uh, and Mango just right on top of him and hit him with a throw, which forced yeah. Hungry Boss to just get up. In that case, he can roll, but yeah, same same concept. That's kind of like the Fox answer, right, to the jab reset rest from Jigglypuff. It's really the same concept. Yeah, same concept. And I think that, you know, the tech chase on the platform is the one that I think Mango kind of pioneered. I feel like I saw it first. Uh, Maybe mid last year, maybe a Genesis or something, but yep. you know, comboing floaties where you end up drilling them like down onto the platform. Oh my god, Mango's recoveries. Yeah, no, totally. And again, this is the only stage where that up smash is not gonna KO. Yeah. But jeez. Hungry Box staying in shield for just a moment too long. He's gotta be he's gotta be cognizant of that. Here's Mango. Oh. Mango doing a very odd. Uh, that KOs, wow. Back up from the middle of the stage. I want to say maybe HBox could have DI'd it, but I'm not sure though. Probably. That wasn't a very high percent. <laughs> Probably, but it did kind of come in. Oh, uh -huh. Kana came out of nowhere. I also expected uh, Mango to roll. Hungrybox had the, had a read that didn't quite pan out. Right. Oh no! Oh! God, that's that's damage for Mango. Yeah, Mango just came down with a Nair, and unfortunately for Hungrybox, like, it just won. Oh, oh with the moonwalk? Mango yeah. swagging on your boy. Yeah, he got caught with a lazy pound. You know, you want to obviously you want to. That was a Waba back, pound. That was that. Was that... Pound. What's uh, up, Waba? What's Shout up, Waba? Shout out to you, man. Yeah, how's your how's your boy doing? Not looking so hot. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so Mango up to you know, you were kind of saying how you know Mango and Armada should be watching that Mewtwo set afraid, but Mango responding exactly as you should. If you don't give Hungry Box the lead, he can't camp. He's got to play your game. It's true. Oh, no. And Mango playing a better game right now. Yeah. And I mean, I wonder if, like, Mewtwo King got Hungrybox in, like, the wrong, the wrong frame of mind because this is just a totally different box. Yeah. And I mean, not to get ahead of myself, but if I'm Armada, I'm thinking, I'm sure for Mango at this point. You may, if you think about it, <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah, you may have lost from a Royal Flush, but at Genesis, it was the quickest 3 0 in the history of oh, uh, God, Mango yeah, Armada. That was, that was 3 0 and a handshake. Yeah, that was that time by Mango. And Winner's Finals, you know, he didn't really put up too much of a fight. No, so, didn't take any games. Mango on the verge of 3 0 Hungry Hungrybox, who just got 3 0 by Armada. Is this the story of there are levels? Like a like a solid stratification. Are there yeah. just levels to this? I'm not sure, but Mango looking really, really good right now. Yeah, he's not giving that mute. Hungry Box knows that he can he can catch Mango jumping there, but Mango jumps in such a way that the up air whiffs, he doesn't fast fall into Hungry Box. Oh, what a combo! Up smash and a down smash. He's ready. <laughs> oh Hungry my Box god! So he's ready for everything that just happened. Yeah, that was definitely sick. I, I don't know if it was up smash that led to the down smash, but the down smash was genius, and then the, oh, smash, down smash, the edge guard was just. Uh... Oh, Mango. All right. All right. Well, oh! Oh! Attack! Oh! Hungry Box! Hungry Box went for the rest down there. Rest? A little yeah, bit like... of style. <laughs> oh my god. That tech was insanity. It was, it, and it didn't matter. Well, without that tech, I think Hungry Box was coming back. So honestly, I mean, if, oh, right, if that's right, true, right. then that tech actually made it a stock trade as opposed to Mango just going down oh, a stock, so. For sure. And now that Hungrybox is the lead for the out. first time in the set, yeah, now the, the camping game. No, he's actually going in. He's actually not, you know, fully, maybe knowing that Mango uh, a little more well-versed in countering it than Mewtwo King, I don't know. It's like, we were talking about Mewtwo King not the type to get impatient, but he's also sometimes not the type to 
Like, he's presented with this threat of the camping Jigglypuff off stage. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't get impatient, but doesn't do anything about it. He doesn't do anything right? about it. Too and patient. Too patient. And I feel like Mango, at least right now, he's playing with kind of the right level of, you know. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a point where... Oh, my oh, God, he, he put him to fell sleep. asleep, but he didn't... I don't think that he reacted to it. No, unfortunately. I haven't seen a sleep put punish. put my man to sleep. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Ah, since, like, I played as a casual. Yeah. Really? He could have sleep stalled him, too. I don't know if that's even legal. You know, you keep sleeping on I, the ledge, I know about that, yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. singing, and then, the, then, then you do for six minutes, and the match is over, and you win. I don't know if that's legal. That's that might not be legal. What if it is? That would be so sick, I don't actually. know. Yeah, I, I would do it. Why not? <laughs> so, you know, Fox usually the one to KO Jigglypuff with the up smash, but there's one from, uh, from Jigglypuff's side if you're counting up smash KOs between these guys. That's right. Uh, Mango running off stage, weird. <laughs> yeah, not what he wanted. That's There's the rest. So that's game game three going to Hungry Box. And I will say that every single time, every single time that I thought to myself, all right, Hungry Box is out of the tournament. Let's think to the next thing. Hungry Box is not out of the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no. Uh, Hungry Box has, you know, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, he can win oh, this wow. set just as easily as Mango can. He rides this read, or lead, sorry, and then it's game five, and yep. then who, who knows what happens yep, from there, exactly. right? He almost is like a, I don't know if this is actually how a Venus fly trap. Wow, Mango's stealing a little bit of Armada technology there with the run up down. So remember, um, yeah, uh, I think Evo, it was Evo 2015, yeah, finals. And Armada with the run-up down tilt really dissuading Hungrybox from the ledge camp. So Ar Mango does have some tech. That up there. Yeah, where I, I think that Hungrybox like took CEO, the you know, the major before Evo, pretty handily using this tactic of, you know, ledge stalling. And uh, maybe he played his hand too soon. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we were saying back then. More or less a tie game. Um, yeah. This I'm invincibility is gonna mean a lot. Okay, Mango survives. He does get hit by that. Okay, dodge the tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Lasering a little bit, but he's a little too close to him there. He's got to be careful. Laser, I like of course. The idea. Uh, Go ahead. Huh? I was just going to say, laser or projectile that doesn't have stun. So, you know, in most other fighting games, if you're hitting them with your projectile, you're safe. But in melee, you can still get hit. Yeah. You don't want to trade damage for damage plus not bad. Right. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Hi -ya! What a dangle. Wow. <laughs> it seems. Whoa. <laughs> that hit hard. Yeah. It seemed to me like Hungrybox didn't even think about covering the ledge. Oh, sneaks in that 11%. Yep. Mango shines him on the stage. <laughs> oh! Right. Pound. Oh, Pound is out for a long time, but not that long. And now, Hungrybox with three stocks to one on Yoshi Story. Oh, what a foreigner on a Randall. Yeah. Mango, the cloud wasn't Mango there, that's death. Playing a little insane right now. A little uh, insane. Sometimes he gets that way. <laughs> and it's usually, you know, man. Usually spooky. Wow, Hungrybox oh, with a great oh, air dodge. down for Mango, though. All right, but Hungry Box with a solid lead. Yeah. Uh, still, it, you know. Never with, count Hungry Box with out. Mango, with Mango playing a little wonky. Shooting some lasers. Is that run up down tilt? Yep. And that up, that up there will reach the side platform on Yoshi's, which is really Can he make it back? No, Hungry Box wow. gets the edge guard. And pretty convincingly, that's two games back to back. We are at game five just like that. Hungry Box, the clutch master, yep. did it against our model last year, is now mid performance versus Mango. We're going back to Yoshi's story. And you know, I gotta say. Uh, Gets grabbed, there's a rest. Oh my god, there And it is. it's starting out just like last game. I wish Mango would just take a second and think back to what one of the winners said. And it, was, it wasn't Yoshi's story, man. I just. Yeah, actually, his coach Tavakins was telling me that uh, his number one job at this tournament is to get Mango to not go to Yoshi Story. All right, well, so I'm actually, Tapo. yeah, I'm thinking about how Tapo in his his he had he had wow, that was cool. Smash. He set up his own, you know, success criteria and metrics, and, and he's uh, failed. he is objectively, yeah, not not accomplished. No, no, what he was no, out absolutely to do. not. But Mango actually, maybe it works out. I don't know. We'll see. Panning out right now, quick 66 on the second stop. What a grab yeah, range for but Puff. This is more or less what happens in this matchup, you know, and, and what's really going to matter is we're back to neutral. Let's yeah. see what Mango can do. If Hungry Box just keeps doing what he's doing, you know, he's got a path to Armada right now. Yes, absolutely. What a, what a, uh... <laughs> All right. Overextension by I, Hungrybox. Overextension on both sides. I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's almost like this, this, uh... 
this, you know, RTSD style for Mango is almost like infecting Hungry Box because he's doing some some nutty stuff as well. The crowd's coming alive. Yep. Mango back with the lead, but I think that's going to do it. Yeah, three four years off the wall, and Mango now looking for a hit on Hungry Box. He gets a hit, one more, and now Hungry Box at very dangerous percent. Oh. Oh, no, oh, but he, what a That bait. was so fast. He, what every 10% higher, of course, you know, Fox goes into tumble and has to tech that, but at that percent, he does it so he can slide off with the forward air, combo and up smash. That was genius. I feel like Mango, you know, he doesn't really play the percents like a Mewtwo King, like in terms of his, his brain, but I feel like intuitively, you know, he just kind of knew that that would work out. And the Clutch Master on his last stock at 50%. It's really Hungry Box. Uh, oh, he gets grabbed. Oh, up throw up here. No smash the eye. And Hungry Box has his hand out as soon as the second hit connects. Mango winning game five after Hungry Box totally destroying him and shutting him down. Games three and four. Game five opened up with a rest, but all of a sudden Mango went into, tur into turbo mode and Hungry Box really didn't have an answer. Wow. Last year's Evo champion is eliminated. And now Mango has his chance at revenge against Armada. That's right, for, but for a last set. <laughs> this looks like a I don't know, this looks like a different beast. I Well, I don't know. You got you got to give it to Mango, right? Yes, the set was 3-0, but you compare it to the Genesis set and obviously Mango had a lot more counterplay going into it. Right. Games 1 and game 3 uh were very close. Game 2 a little bit of a, a blowout. <sighs> please uh again, you know, we, you call spirit, spirit bomb. Please hands in the air. If you have not yet, first and foremost, we appreciate you tuning in. Yes. Just hanging out with us, just watching us. Following these players is enough. You don't have to do anything more. But, you don't but have if to. you want to go the extra mile, we would so appreciate. Do you have a tweet that they could retweet? Do we have any retweetable tweets? So the way you said that was really funny. Retwe retweetable tweets? I had one That's earlier. That's what yeah, they let are. Do yeah, let me do uh, it. Let me do it. I'm, my phone pro is tip. From a commentator, please tweet out the stream link because you know what your friends are doing. They see something and it's like, oh, check out, you know, this awesome video game. And you don't have a link and they're like, well, I'm probably going to do nothing. You know what I mean? Make it easy for everyone else to come in and you type so quickly, even on mobile. Oh, my God. I, it's one of my only uh, talents is typing speed. I don't know. Mango versus Armada.